Don't blink, it's your boy Ink. Sorry about the light, I don't know how to fix it. Welcome to the Duke, welcome to the show. Uh, disclaimer before we even start, because we're doing a Arcane review. Uh, I'm going to be quite honest, I was going to be reviewing the Season 1. Reality is, I did watch this quite a couple of times, and my memory served me very well. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to do a very weird, something very new, but at the same time very cool. I'm going to do a spoiler for... Um, so, episode. so, for example, we're going to do episode number one, and I'm going to tell you where every single element is super, super, super important. And it's going to be, it's going to be a, hopefully something that you guys like, um, something new that we're trying, something big like Arcane, because it's, again, it's phenomenal, it is beautiful, such a, a beautiful freaking show. And I'm really int entertaining, no, I'm sorry, uh, we're under pain med, so I'm a bit weird, but it's okay. I'm really entertained with the idea of doing it like that. Um, because the reality is, do I prefer reviewing shows that I haven't watched? Yes. Do I prefer reviewing things that I haven't watched? Movies that I haven't watched? Music that I didn't listen to? Show that I didn't watch? Yes. But the reality is, I did uh, watch a, couple, a lot of things in my fucking life. I'm 21 years old, so... Yeah, that's a lot of things that you watch. So I feel like something like Arcane, and Arcane, I thought was completely finished. So the fact that we're getting a, another season, I think it's cool. Um, today I was supposed to watch four episodes. We ended up watching eight episodes, so that's a lot. Um, but hey, what can I say? It's a good show. So the first episode is actually pretty cool. We have the eyes of the people. Of the, um, we got this team. We got Milo. We got Powder. We got um, V. And what I really, 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 really enjoy about this one is it's such... The, the, the Arcane show is not only a beautiful show, but it's a super smart show. And it's really smart. It is really well thought. It is something that is seemingly... Almost perfect. I would say, I would say, Arcane num if season one is almost perfect. So the first thing you see, again, the ice, and the ice serves a lot of purpose. It serves to show that V is a leader. It goes to show that these people are living in condition where they feel like they need to steal to survive. It feels like there's this almost fellowship of the people because um, one of the kid tells them, "Hey, there's this place that you can steal," and they manage to steal the place. But that kid gave him the intel, so there's this sentiment of loyalty, um, and it's it's super cool because you already seen, you already saw. Um, ah, there, there's so much stuff in the first one. There's so much in be, be, behind the scene, in between the lines things. Um, there's such a fourth dimension being breached in Arcane Episode One. So, for example, um, the kids they don't like they, they follow V, they don't like powder. Powder is constantly jinx, she's constantly fucking up. And they tell her, but a V likes powder and V protects powder. So if V said that powder has to come, powder has to come. One of them ends up being Milo. Milo is one of the kids that has the biggest mouth and he's gonna end up being in a in a position where um he's constantly complaining. And he kinda is a bully to Jinx. And the really nice thing, the really, really cool thing, is during the whole show, Powder, which becomes Jinx, um, constantly have in her mind what Milo says. She constantly have the group of people that was um, her friend that kind of bullied her. Not necessarily bullied her, but were, were not nice to her. They were mean to her. And the fact that... Is that she she did grow up, of course she grew up. The fact is, Seek Silco was constantly reminding her, You remember those friends that betrayed you? You remember those friends that weren't there for you? You remember those friends that you thought you could trust but you couldn't? So it's constantly putting that in her head and her she's like, Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. Thank you for reminding me. Which is bad, which is really bad, but still. Um on another note, super positive note, uh, we got the Milo, and Milo is really complaining about Jinx and V she's like V in the position and and that is to I, I believe I truly believe that it, it, it goes to show it, and again it's between the lines it's not specified but it goes to show the quality of this character she has a kind heart which is said by Vander at the at the at the end of the episode um it goes to show that she's a good leader she's able to see the weakness and the pros of everybody so she's like yeah Jinx she fucks up you're right she fucks up but guess what? When we were in trouble, she stayed. You you didn't stay. 
when some when shit hit the fan, she was there to pick up the pieces. When you had to pick up the pieces, you weren't there. You weren't there, right? And the the coolest thing, the coolest thing is they come back from the um the heist. They get almost ambushed by another group of kids, and Jinx is the one that gets beat up the most, but she doesn't give up. Milo gets a couple of hits, still on the ground. So V does realize that. And a, a, a good leader, and I'm sorry to say that, I, I know it's going to offend people, but that's just my perception. A, a good leader is a person that is able to see the strength and his weakness and use the people he has in his team in the best option. And it's 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 it would be stupid not to. I have this guy who's super good with computer, but I'm going to put him as a salesman. So, V, and it, it's kind of cool because Vander, there's going to be a very important part of Vander. There's going to be a huge, huge, huge part of Vander. Like, humongous. Um, so, Vander, which is the father of those kids, who also is a leader, is going to tell V, listen, these people, they see you as a leader. That's, that's what it is to be a leader. There's a lot of things that comes with being a leader. You have to be careful with being a leader. You have to be careful about your team. You have to protect them. They'll follow you. If you tell, if you tell them, jump... They'll ask how high. He doesn't say that, but that's what he's intending. If you jump and they say how high, and you say too high, they'll hurt themselves. That's on you. And he's like, okay, yeah, I understand. And Vander is a, a boss, and the way he's treating, there, there's, there's constantly, there, there's constantly going to be, spoiler again, um, there's going to be a lot of spoiler. So the bad guy, which is Silco, um, the bad guy, which is Silco, he, he kind of trained Powder to be like him, so he kind of trained Powder to to be in his image, and Vander constantly trained these to be in his image. And you realize that Vander and um, Vander and Silco were best friends until they had a disagreement, and because they had this disagreement, then it happened. So this is the first thing. The second good thing that we have is we have once again the revelation that there's another group of hoodlum, a kid that lived beneath the city, that kind of attacked Jinx. I kind of attack V and her, and her group. And the problem with that is there's a, a rule where you can steal from the top. You cannot steal from the people down there. You cannot hit people down there. The, with the people on top, the, it's free game. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But here, it's respect. So the fact that somebody went against him is something that Vander is kind of worried about. And that's pretty much it for episode number one. It's a, it's a good episode. It's a really good episode. Really good episode.